The Tokyo Olympics are just months away. And with an estimated 700,000 people expected to pass through Japan's Narita International Airport over the summer, the latest in cutting-edge technology is clearly visible from the moment you land. I really feel like a robot. It's like I have an exoskeleton. This power suit is a wearable device that alleviates burden to the waist when lifting heavy objects. It's just like engaged when she hit the power button. Oh yeah. Woohoo! So that's huge because you guys are about to have the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics here, and there are going to be so many people coming through this airport. Whoa. Wow. That's so much easier. Never felt stronger. Also helping with the influx of visitors is the latest in face recognition technology. So there's facial recognition cameras here and here? Oh, here and here and here. This is going to be huge for Tokyo Olympics because this saves so much time in line. And aviation isn't the only mode of transport that's getting a tech upgrade in preparation for the Tokyo Games. So right now we're on the automated driving bus, and we do have a driver. I know it's still part of the testing phase, but once uh, yeah, the regulations yeah, change, yeah, yeah. this bus will be on its own. Ah, uh, yeah. The driver just pushes the button. And then it goes automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. automatic. That's yeah. what's happening right now. Yeah. So he's not even holding the wheel. Oh, oh that's so yeah. cool. Yeah. We are on an automated bus right now. Nobody is driving this bus. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Also scary. Smooth ride, though. Juxtaposed against this vision for the future is a prefecture that also offers a journey to the past. Look at all the gold. Where timeless temples, it is really so beautiful, and sweeping shorelines coexist alongside cutting edge technology. The temple is considered one of the five most important Buddhist temples in Japan. And this whole other world is just a stone's throw from the airport. People often think Narita is just an airport town. Yeah. But this town has been known as a temple town. Mm -hmm. And actually, the town of Narita built around the temple. That's how it started 300 years ago. Something smells good. Well, that's the oldest rice cracker shop. It's all homemade. Mmm, so good. Miso flavor is such a hidden gem, and it's like hidden in plain sight, 10 minutes from the airport. Yes. Head further south into Chiba, and you'll find the perfect antithesis to the vibrant hub of Narita. That's Mount Fuji right there. Wow, in all her glory. With Mount Nokogiri offering stunning views. This is beautiful. Yes. Oh my god. And a chance to see the largest rock carved Buddha in Japan. That is mind blowingly beautiful. His eyes are half open, as if to looking down at you. I just have to stop and like marvel. With its mild climate and rich natural environment, Chiba overflows with beauty both inland and on the coast. With Kamagawa City boasting stunning flower fields and terraced rice plains. It's really nice here, it's so green and lush. It's kind of like a giant maze. While Minamiboso City proves just why Chiba has been chosen to host the Olympic surfing events. Surfing in Japan was awesome. I got my butt kicked, I got spanked a bit, but that was so much fun. And as the sun sets over Tokyo Bay, Chiba stands proud as the prefecture where tech and tradition merges one. <laughs>